Hi everyone. Hi everyone, this is Eclid Learning. So uh, this channel is basically targeting uh, the government English medium syllabus. So I have done a video series separately for grade six, grade seven, grade eight and grade nine. So if you want to have some kind of a foundation for IT, uh, yes, you can uh, go and refer them because it will uh, give you some basic understanding what this subject is and what are the basic things you should know. Uh, but if you have very less time and uh, you want to quickly recap, yes, then you can start from uh, grade 10 onwards. So this is chapter one for grade 10. And I'm planning to do six small clips uh, for grade 10 first chapter. Right? So this is the first uh, episode of first clip for chapter one, information and communication technology, ICT. So that's the basic thing we are going to learn today. So first of all, you should know what's the difference between data and information, right? These are two things, right? So data means raw facts, right? For example, numbers, words, images, which don't have some kind of a very, uh, good meaning, we call them standing along stuff, we call them as data, right? But if we process or arrange these data into meaningful information, yes, then we can use them for the decision making. So uh, information is the processed data, which we can use for decision making and when it when we compare data and information information has more value, value because they are already processed so we can use it for the decision making now in here they have given some example they have given some names and marks so this first this thing is data but by just looking at this data with the results, you don't get much idea. But if you put them into a uh, table with name, language, and all the subjects and the names and the marks, this gives you more uh, meaningful idea. For example, uh, at least we know for language, this one has got highest mark, something like that. We can make some kind of a decision, right? But uh, this won't be very sufficient. This is just the data in a tabular manner, right? But if we calculate the totals, yes, we calculate the averages and if we rank them, right? Then this is some kind of a information which you can use for the decision making, right? So for example, the class first can be Rizwan because he has been ranked as the number one, he has got the average of 78. So these things will give more uh, important uh, idea to make decisions. And there's another example. So here they have given some pictures, images. So if you take them separately, nothing much. But if you put it together and if you um, create like this, if you arrange like this, it gives more understanding. Ah, it's a member of family. So it has more meaning. So this is information. This is just raw facts, uh, just data. So they have given another example. So uh, this NIC number, this is not the latest uh, NIC they're talking about. This is what we had. Uh, so uh, usually you will get a new uh, NIC, but in the older version, uh, we had the number like this. Okay, so this number, just if you look at it, it's just a number. There is no any information in it, just some kind of data. But if you analyze it, then you can uh, understand this uh, number has some meaningful information. For example, if you think about the first two digits, it's the birth year. So this person had born in 1974, right? And two denotes he is a male. That means zero to four denotes it's a male. So as this is two, this person is a male, right? You can decide the gender also. And uh, from this 77, you can identify the birthday also. For example, now this person has born from January 1st onwards, you have to count 77 days. 
right? So January will have 31 days. Uh, February will have uh, around 28. So uh, definitely this person should be in March, right? Because uh, based on from January 1, first uh, you put one, two, three like that and 77 days is his birthday, right? So like that you can identify what is his birthday as well. So see, by analyzing the NIC number, you can know the birthday and the gender of a person, right? So next part is about information system, right? So in so in this small clip, we are basically learning what is data and what is information. So for example, if you represent some data in a graph, you can make decisions very easily, right? So graph will present some information. If, for example, if you have a pie chart, you can quickly see who is having the highest patterns, percentages and all like that. You can make decisions, right? So um, that's why uh, data should be converted into information because data is having a less value. Information is having a higher value. So thank you. Let's meet with the second clip.